number one, find the value for each of the following. So here we see here before this, we don't have any number here. Now we have number. So what it means is that you see here, from below to above. So this is represented by x actually. So if you see from the graph, it's actually from negative 1 up to 3. From below to up. So first we integrate. Okay, so a, so we have 3 negative 1. So it means that it is from negative 1 up to 3. So we have 2 minus x, 5 b x. So how to integrate? To integrate this is that, so we add the power, right? So we add the power. So 5 plus 1. And then we divide it with power. So divide by 5 plus 1. So do you still remember when we do differentiation? So for example, when we have y is equal to x minus minus 4 power of 3 what we did is that when we differentiate so we bring the power forward right and then we minus the power with 1 so we get 3 minus 1 is 2 and then we need to multiply with the differentiation of what is inside the box so we see here this one we multiply so for integration, it is opposite with what we did in uh, differentiation. So instead of multiply, we will divide. So in integration, we will divide. So in this case, you see here, so you divide with differentiation inside the bracket. So you here, 5 plus 1, and then d over dx, 2 minus x. This one, after we integrate, so what we did is that we close this one. Before this, when we don't have number, we add C, right? When we have number, we close this one and we put negative 1, 3. So here we get, so this one is 2 minus x power of 6 divided by 5 plus 1 is 6. When you differentiate this one, 2 will become 0. Negative x will become negative 1. And this one is negative 1, 3. So here we get, so we see here this one is 2 minus x, 6 divided by negative 6, negative 1, 3. So this one, this is the value that need to be substituted inside x. So here you can take out the constant out. So negative 1 over 6. Or you can let it be, but then it will be quite long when you want to calculate later on. So when you take it out, so you have 2 minus x power of 6. This is negative 1 up to 3. So here, the negative 1 over 6. So we see here, what is what does it mean by 3 and 1? So, you have to substitute 3 first. So, here, 2 minus, so x you substitute with 3. Power of 6, you see here, 3 minus. And then, okay, you can close this one so that you can, you can see it easier. So, you take this one, you substitute 3 first, and then you minus. Okay, because this is only one term, so you don't have to do double bracket actually. But this one is 2 minus x. Minus, so this one is negative 1, power of, so you close back, power of 6. So you see what happened here? So you do it like this, then after that you substitute the first value, everything using the first value of x, minus everything substitute using the second value of x. So you see here, this one is minus, so you have negative 1 over 6. So, this one is 2 minus 3, you get negative 1 power of 6. So, this one is minus 2, minus minus is plus, 2 plus 1 is 3, power of 6. So, here we get negative 1 over 6, this is negative 1 power of 6, you get 1. 3 power of 6, you get, you can just key in inside your calculator to get the value. So, you get 7 to 9. Just equal to negative 
1 over 6 times negative 7 to 8, right? Because 1 minus 7 to 9, you get negative 7 to 8. So here, which is equal to, so when you multiply negative and negative, we get positive 7 to 8 divided by 6. So you see here, this one can be divided by 2. 6 divided by 2, you get 3. 7 to 8 divided by 2, you get 3, 6, 4. So you see here, I take out negative 1 over 6 because I don't want to put it 6. I don't want to put it 6. But then, it's, if you just leave it 6 inside, then it, you will still get the same answer. Because usually the constant won't be affected, won't be affected when you substitute x. So you can just take it out. Or just so here b, so I have 2, negative 3, 8x minus 6x squared plus 8 divided by 2 minus x dx. So when you have fraction like this, so we try to figure out if we can cancel the common factor. So how to do the common factor? How to eliminate common factor? We factorize. So we see here, this one is 2, negative 3. This one, you can, everything can, everything can be divided by 2. So here we can take out 2 here outside. Right, so here we take out 2, so we have here 4x minus 3x square plus 4. You see here, this one. So here we get 2 minus x dx. So we see here when we factorize, it will be easier if our x is positive. So 2, negative 3, so I take out this one to be negative 2 and I multiply everything with negative, so I get negative 4 plus 3x square. This one would be minus 4 divided by 2 minus x. So here 2, negative 3, so I have negative 2, right? So negative 2, this one, I arrange it 3x square minus 4x minus 4 divided by 2 minus x dx. So for this one, I just use calculator to get the factor. So negative 2, this one would be 3x plus 2. This one would be x minus 2. So I just use calculator. So this one is 2 minus x. So the x here. So we see here, this one is 2 minus x. This one is x minus 2. So, if I want, see, this one is actually the same one, just the sign is different. So, you must change to the same sign. So, if you want to change to x minus 2, you have to add negative. Okay, something like this, 2, negative 3, you have negative 2 here. 3x plus 2, x minus 2, divided by, so you want to change it, you get, you add negative, and this one would be x minus 2. So, this is how we change the sign. So when you expand, you see here negative and negative times x, you still get negative x. Negative times negative 2, you still get positive 2. So you see here, now you can cancel out negative. You can cancel out this one. So now you are left with, this one would be only, you have 2, right? So 3x plus 2 dx. So usually the constant, you can bring it front because it won't be affected when you do integration. So we see here 3x plus 2 dx is equal to 2. So to integrate this one, you see here inside the bracket. So 3x to integrate, you see here x will become, you add the power with 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2 divided by 2. And then you see here plus 2 will become 2x. Okay, so you have negative 3 and 2. So negative 3 and 2. So now we can substitute. So how to substitute? First, you substitute the equation inside the box with 2 first. So here, 2. So you open a large bracket here. So this one will be 3 over 2. So x squared is equal to 2 squared plus 2. x is equal to 2. So this is the first one. See, the first one, I substitute x with 2. Then, i minus, so
So we see here negative 3. Now we substitute the whole equation with negative 3. So 3 over 2. So it's equal when you multiply directly also. But I just wanted it negative 3 square plus 2, 2. 3 and you close the bracket. Okay, this is the last. So this one is this one, so the last bracket. Okay, which is equal to 2. So here is 3 over 2 times 2 square. 2 square is equal to 4. This one is plus 2 times 2 is 4. This one is the first one. So the minus, this one is 3 over 2 times negative 3 square is equal to 9. Because we know that anything square with positive, with uh, even number, you will get positive. So 2 times negative 3, you get minus 6. So you close that. So here 2, this one you can cut off. So you get 3 times 2 is 6. 6 plus 4 is 10. So here 3 times 9 is, okay, this one is minus, this one is 27 divided by 2 minus 6. So I just calculated this using calculator. So I get 2 here. Okay, 5 over 2, which is equal to, you can cut off 2, you get 5. So this one, you get 5. C. So here, integration of negative 2 to 3, this one is 2x square, x square minus x dx. So you see here, you can expand this one, right? So negative 2, 3, 2x square. So usually, uh, you can put the constant inside or you can just take it out. Why? Because if I take it out, I don't have to calculate it many times. So we can either take out the 2 because you know this one is multiplication and the constant won't be affected by the integration. So just take out or you can just keep it in. So it's your choice lah but I think I like to take it out. So here I have x square and x square minus x dx. So this one is negative 2, 3. So x square times x square you get x4. x square times negative x you get negative x3 dx. So here you can integrate this one. So you have 2. So you see here x power of 4. When you integrate, you get, you add the power with 1, you get 5 divided by power. So here minus, this one would be x4 divided by 4. Power, you see here, add power with 1, divide with the power. You close back and you see this one is 3. Negative 2 to 3. Negative 2, 3. Now you can. So we see here 2, because 2 is outside, so here you substitute 3 first. So this one would be 3 power of 5 divided by 5 minus, so x will become 3 power of 4 divided by 4. So you see here this one is a 1 set, you substitute 3. And then you minus, you substitute with negative 2. So this one would be negative 2 power of 5 divided by 5 minus. So x power of 4, negative 2 power of 4 divided by 4. So you close back. So here 2, 3 power of 5 is 2 for 3 divided by 5 minus 3 power of 4 is equal to 81 divided by 4 minus. So negative 2, negative 32 divided by 5 minus negative 2 power of 4, you will get 16 over which is equal to 2. So I just key in this one and this one inside calculator. So I get 155 divided by 4. So this one you will get 2. So you have 155 divided by 2.